So Jeff, in really simple terms, what is a bushfire and what are the pre precursors, what do you need in order for a bushfire to start? Well, in, uh, in South East Queensland, which is probably our, in Queensland's worst bushfire area, uh, we're lucky in some respects. Uh, what you would need to have a bad season is good summer rainfall and then uh, no winter rainfall. Yeah. So you'd have plenty of fuel. You need fuel for fires, of course. And, uh, so number one ingredient, fuel. fuel yeah, and uh, that dries off. And then our, our big season is uh, October, November, early mm -hmm. November, before we get too many thunderstorms just to saturate the ground again. Yep. And uh, say you've had a late, uh, you've gone through that scenario, you've got plenty of fuel, it's dry, mm -hmm. and the first few thunderstorms are dry ones, yep. which can start fires. And if you, that last fruit of November can be very, very dangerous because yeah. you start to get, you're still getting uh, westerlies left over from winter yep. and they can be very hot. Yep instead of cool and uh, for instance our worst uh, recent year we know about was in November uh, 1994 mm -hmm. and uh, the, the fires then would have been as bad as some of the worst ones in Victoria. Yeah, wow. Uh, yeah. But uh, that one repeated today even be worse because it affected the Sunshine Coast hinterland mm -hmm. and went so close to causing uh, a lot of uh, drama for uh, uh, suburban areas. But. Uh, yeah. But it's, it is rare because we don't often get all those uh, different things uh, aligning up like that. Mm -hmm. So we're lucky most times, but it can happen. So yeah. we have to be we have to be aware of those conditions. Yeah. yeah.